Lexington's police department is hoping to work with Wild Health Field to improve security there after a shooting early Saturday morning left seven injured. Stadium officials say the ballpark is safe, but as LAX 18's Ricky Sayer found out, even some of the ballpark's most frequent guests disagree. That's tonight's big story at 11. Baseball is back in Lexington, with fans returning to Wild Health Field after Saturday's doubleheader was canceled. The overnight shooting at the ballpark was on the mind of James Vest and his brother. It's disheartening. This is our number one source of entertainment in Lexington for our family, and it gives you a second thought. Do I want to bring, you know, my small children out here for a game if, you know, there might be shell casings out front on the ground? The shooting took place during a private event at the ballpark. Not a game. The ballpark's management told us security is at all of the field's events, ensuring safety codes are followed. Vast attends two or three games a week. He said that security is lacking. Honestly, it's, it's, it's kind of weak. Before this afternoon's game, we watched as some people entered without being checked at all. Others with bags were asked to open them up briefly. There's a fine line. There's going overboard when you have to have a clear bag to come in. But at the same time, if somebody brings a bag in, you know, more than a quick glance inside wouldn't hurt my feelings any, especially given the way that Lexington has become as of recent. We weren't allowed inside, but the Legends owner told us in an email they have police and both marked and unmarked security inside. Police Chief Weathers indicated during a press conference yesterday that more could be done. We're going to talk uh, uh, to the wild health people about some of the things that we observe and maybe help them take measures, better measures, to make sure nothing like that happens again. That's displacing blame less with the ballpark and more with the community. He says he'll still bring his kids to games because he knows he can protect them. Would I let my daughter and her friends come to a game unsupervised? No, I wouldn't want them walking around this neighborhood without adult supervision. The legend so does their stadium remains a safe place for families to watch baseball. In Lexington, Ricky Sayer, LEX 18 News. The legends did not directly respond to a request for an on-camera interview to discuss their safety measures. The team's owner did tell us in an email that they can't disclose all of their security measures in the interest of maintaining security.